truly a great day. Our fishing rods and reels came in right at the same time. There we are. Oh, these are some heavy duty rods right here. Okay, let's go into tube number two. See what we got in this fella. <laughs> These are the big dogs, y'all. I, I am very anxious to see what these guys are gonna look like. Oh my gosh, they look beautiful. Everything Old 18 is doing right now, it is straight fire. I mean, these rods, wow, the color scheme on them. I know the color it really doesn't matter. It's not gonna help you catch fish, but when you stare at something that you just bought and that color screams quality and just sexiness, holy cow. For being a massive rod, seven foot, 10 inches long, the Traverse, this is their swim bait series. Uh, what I intend on using it for is the jetties, uh, going out there, wade fishing with big baits, where, whether it's gonna be live stuff or slinging some swim baits. This right here, look at the lockdown ring. Now, let's take a look at what we ordered from Lou's. We got right here. This is something that I have been needing for a while now. And uh, mainly because I've been using my current fishing reels for the past over two years now that we've been working with, uh, where are they? Right here. These are the Lou's Custom Lights. And from day one, I have absolutely loved this fishing reel. There's no gimmick garbage that other manufacturers try to put just to sell or overhype their fishing reels up so that it'll get you, the consumer, to purchase them. This right here is just plain and simple. It's a super light reel that I feel can hold its own against just about anything else that's out there as far as castability, distance, uh, strength. Uh, that's why I have decided to order four more of them. I absolutely love these reels and they're, I mean, yes, they cost quite a bit, but the proof is in the pudding. These guys have been used for two years straight, a little over two years and they've never been cleaned. They can take a beating. They are always fished in salt water. And so if you're ever wondering, can my lose reels, even though it doesn't say it's salt water rated, can they handle the salt? Yes, they absolutely can. I don't believe in spraying them down with water because I think you're gonna push salt and grime and everything else into the inner components and that's where you don't want it but these fellas can, boy, they can handle their own and they are just a work of art. I, I think from like most of the YouTube channels that I've seen here in our area that fish the salt, um, those fellas that have used it absolutely love them. I, oh, okay, so let me take that back. I don't know if they absolutely love them, but they like them enough to give great like feedback on them. And so the best thing that I can say is, if you ever go to a sporting goods store where you can try them out, then do so because they feel amazing. They are super lightweight and oh my gosh, look how gorgeous they look when they're, when they're brand new. This guy looks like a stepchild now, but yeah, that's what that looked like. And it feels like a toy in the hand, but make no mistake, this guy, is ready to go. I mean, they are ready to do some battle with the biggest of redfish and speckled trout, you name it. 
uh, you're gonna be able to whoop some butt. This paired with 10 pound braid works phenomenally for casting super lightweight lures on a finesse rod like the buoyancy from old 18 you're gonna have all day fun uh, it's make no mistake it's got plenty of power to muscle in them reds but uh, you're gonna have a lot of fun while doing it so i i think they complement each other and this one is going on the light power reel right here the buoyancy I am dying to get back out there on the water now. It's like when you get a new toy, you want to go out and just start using it immediately. We got to spool some line and this is, for those of y'all that are wondering, that's what I use right there. I've got all the reels mated to the rods now and this is my entire lineup of old 18 Outfitter rods. Over here, we'll start with the like ultra heavy all the way down to the finesse. Uh, we've got two traverse rods right over here made it to the Luz Super Duty 300. I already know that this reel can bring in some of the big boys. The Jax is going to be like the biggest that we have out here in our waters. Unless I go offshore, but I don't think I would use these out there. It's just too long of a rod to be on a boat. But this right here is going to be mainly used for the jetty. Um, I'm going to bring in the jacks and then bull reds, whatever it is that I can catch out there. And so we've got the magnum heavy and then we have the medium heavy. So both of these actually, yeah, both of them are going to be used in a similar fashion just to sling lures of really heavy weights. Um, these massive two and three inch spoons that I have. And the jetty season is already upon us. So that right there is a two ouncer. This should have no issue slinging something like that out there now. And then we, uh, well, let's talk a little bit about the rod itself. I mean, they're beautiful. We've got a double lockdown ring and yeah, the, the real seat, is awesome and that's what i noticed about all the old 18 outfitter rods they have three points at which your hand your fingers can contact the blank so that you have constant contact with it and you can feel the subtlest of uh, bites and uh, that's pretty awesome the handle it's like a carbon fiber wrap that's very smooth unlike the buoyancy which we'll get into in a second and then you have an eva uh, butt right there EVA foam so that your belly isn't going to take a beating whenever you're like trying to drag them in um, you got plenty of leverage for under your arm this is designed as like a swim bait in the bass world but no doubt in my mind that it's going to be able to go toe to toe with some of the big stuff out there on the jetties and uh, like we go to Sea Wolf Park something like that we should have no issue bringing in the big boys. And then when I decide to go bass fishing, I can do like some heavy cover style stuff. Um, th this setup is gonna get it done for us. You've got 10 guides. I wanna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, 10 guides, including the tip. Um, you got your hook keeper and the blank. The blank is just, it's very, lightweight for a rod this size it's lightweight like when i saw it i'm like man that's going to be heavy but it's not i mean these things are really lightweight the color scheme you got the red accents looks really good and it matches with the reel not that it matters but the reel does match with that on the the, the reel side uh it's a 300 um, bait caster a power knob right there and I'm using, this is 20 pound braid and uh, the leader, well, that just varies based off of what style of fishing that I'm doing. And then the other setup is exactly mirror image. They're both, the rods are seven foot, 10 inches long. Now we jump down to this one right here. Y'all have seen in the past whenever I've used it. Um, it's the suppressor. This is a medium heavy, I want to say. Yes, medium heavy rod, seven foot long, 
and uh, it's got the wind grips. The reel seat is the same thing right here. You've got three points of contact for your hand, so it doesn't matter if you're right or left. One portion of your finger or your hand, one of your fingers um, on the hand is going to be able to have touch all the time on the rod blank. So it's 10 guides plus the tip, 11 guides. Um, we got the same uh, Lose Super Duty and uh, I'm not too sure. This is just going to be like a wild card setup. And right now I've got it with a, uh, a jigging shrimp that's pretty heavy. I can get it cast out there and we have the same test pound line right there. All braid, that's all I ever use is just braid in the yellow color because it helps my eyes to be able to see um, whenever the wind is blowing and your line is bowed you can still see the strike whenever the fish hits, it moves your line and that's what I'm concentrating on during high wind days. And uh, this is a phenomenal setup as well. About the handle, it's got like a tacky feel, even when it gets wet, you're still gonna get ultimate grip on this right here. So we got that one. And then now we're stepping down in size. Right here we have the Twin Sisters, two ballistic rods that are seven foot long. They're both medium power. And uh, I think these ones have, how many guides? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So both of them, 11 plus the tip. And uh, the color scheme on this one, blue, it's like a royal blue. I don't know what color you would consider that, but the color scheme is just a little bit different to differentiate them at first sight whenever you're looking at them. One thing I noticed about the blank is that it doesn't have like a fine polished finish, like a smooth touch. You can actually feel the ridges on the blank. And so that's pretty um, different about it. You got EVA foam grips, a EVA foam butt, and then the same real seat down here where your hand can make contact with the rod blank. I think that's something that Old 18 has done with every one of their rods. And uh, I, I really love it. Um, it lets you feel the most subtlest things out there. You can even feel when you're reeling in if your lure bumps into some snot grass or you're hitting oyster or bouncing into a pothole in the mud, all of those things you can feel when you're out there on the water. And that's just a testament to the blanks that they use as far as sensitivity is concerned. You know exactly what's going on with your lure whenever you're out there fishing with them. And uh, these have a, uh, it's a, a moderate tip, but um, what I like about it is that there's plenty of flexibility there. So uh, in the bass world, they're used for crankbaits, but what I'm gonna use them for is the corkies, and then you got like the miradines, the top waters stuff where I'm constantly having to like manipulate my lure by way of twitches. And so your wrists and your arms don't have to take a beating the tip of the rod is gonna do a little bit of give and allow your lure to kind of work itself. And um, that's basically what I'm gonna use it for. Uh, I don't know about like the bass world or anything like that. Although I do fish for them, um, somebody else out there who is gonna be using these could probably give you a better definition or explanation on why the tip has to be soft. But I know that whenever I'm out there, I love using my ultralight and light powered rods to use lures like this, but they're not necessarily designed as such because the, uh, the weight of the lure is just too heavy for a finesse. But I love the flex that my tip has and the action that I can achieve by twitching it, one of these lures with that. So as soon as they release the ballistic, I'm like, that's what I'm going to use it for. And that's what we got right here. A corky, nice size right there. And uh, anything else? You got double lockdown rings. The reel that I have it on, or, or the reel that I have on it, is the Pro TI from Lose. We've got 10 pound braid. Everything stepping down is going to be 10 pound braid. And then we've got a 20 pound monofilament leader. 
uh, FG knot that connects both of them. And this reel has taken a beating through the past over two years and uh, it's still kicking. Never been cleaned before and if you were to look at it, you could see that. Um, ever so often I will kind of wipe it with my hand, but um, yeah, this reel is phenomenal as well. Then we go to the twin sister, another medium power seven foot long. The rod is exactly the same, but the reel we have is a Luz Hyper Mag and 10 pound braid as well, 20 pound leader. And then this again, because I'm gonna be doing like a series of twitches the, uh, with the top water tied on, um, I should be able to achieve great action. We'll find that out on the very first trip. So I think I'm gonna take all of them out there with me with exception to these two big boys. There's no sense in me trying to cast that off of the kayak. Um, it, I mean, it's mad. I don't know. We might just for giggles. Um, but yeah, that's this one right here. Then we go down to the buoyancy. This is the bread and butter for me. These two fellas right here. This is what I came on board uh, with Old 18 was for the ultralights being built in. It, you used to know them as the Arius and then the suppressor. They both had the light plus the ultralight power, but uh, they have combined both of them because it doesn't make any sense to sell two, um, two rods that do exactly the same thing. When, and so what they did was just basically combine them to make the buoyancy and now we have a light powered right here and then an ultra light right here. Lose custom light fishing reels, 10 pound braid, 20 pound monofilament leaders. And then I've got, uh, let's talk about the rod itself. Put one away before we break something. So seven foot long carbon fiber handle and the butt, it's like a split type thing where the actual butt is EVA foam and then you got carbon fiber. The grip right there, your hand is gonna be able to make contact with the rod blank. And we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is the one that had the 12, I wasn't sure but uh, you've got 12 titanium guides. That was one of the things that I asked for specifically because when you're fishing the salt a lot, all right, so when you're fishing the salt, the, uh, the guides have a tendency to rust up. Check out any of your other rods and if they're building up rust, it's just a testament to what the salt can do. So I love the titanium use right here and then the guides themselves are made of some of the hardest materials that are out there. I don't know the actual name of uh, the, like zirconian insert, but don't quote me on that. I think if my memory serves me correct, that that's what it is. And uh, again, seven foot long, just an, a gorgeous rod. It's got a different color scheme. You got like a dark blue with gold accents fits the color of the loose custom light perfectly. This is a mega light setup. So if you were to actually do this one here, let's grab the ultra light because it's gonna be even lighter than the light powered one that I had. But if you were to grab something like this and you're like, holy cow, that is super lightweight. Um, all day fishing plenty of muscle between the rod with enough backbone and then the reel enough drag to bring in the biggest brute redfish. I've already caught a, uh, a whole mess of big fish with the rod and it, I, I just, I love the way this looks. But yeah, that's my entire setup as of right now. I do currently have one, two, three more custom lights and I just basically need to get like maybe a medium light power to bridge the gap between these two right here. Once we get medium lights, then medium, medium heavy, medium heavy, and then magnum heavy. 
and we're going to be covered as far as the casting side goes but i highly encourage y'all to go over to old 18 outfitters check out the website they are doing some phenomenal stuff and these rods i just can't get over how beautiful they look i absolutely love the buoyancy as well and then the ballistic those guys i'm hoping that they're going to feel super good with like a popping cork and then these twitching lures that i got right here but i highly encourage you to go over if you're going to make a purchase from their website don't forget to use the code mdlr20 that's going to save you that 20 percent off whenever you check out and if you go to the fishing show use my code there as well because you'll be able to take advantage of that 20 percent savings Thanks for watching everyone. I cannot wait to get out there on the water to go do some fishing. And uh, if you enjoyed this one, click that thumbs up button. Until next time, tight lines y'all.